Hey guys, hope everyone's holding up. Dan the Wolfman, KetJitsu.com. A little late in this video, but what would I recommend? Cheap pistol, cheap long gun for home defense uh, right now for new gun buyers. Um, I'm going to give just a couple quick choices. There's other stuff. Obviously, if you're elderly or disabled, especially, I have a video on firearms recommendations for elderly or disabled. I did over a month ago. Uh, you should definitely look at those if you fit in those categories or if you're so new to shooting and so small, frail, whatever the situation is that recoil is a big thing to you. Um, a generic recommendation, a 38 caliber revolver, a heavier 38 caliber or a 357 revolver loaded with a 38 hollow point or a 38 plus P hollow point will be pretty suffice or a double barreled uh, 12 gauge shotgun loaded with number one buck shots. Very good. Uh, that would be my uh, possible recommendation. Uh, but also, now let's look up the pistol I would recommend. I would recommend for pistol 9mm if you're a new shooter. And uh, let's look here. Cheap 9mm that I would recommend would be the Taurus G2C. That's a G2S. But the Taurus G2C, which is right there. Taurus G2C is 12 plus 1. It's uh, small enough con to conceal, but still big enough full hand grip to serve in home defense. It has a long double action striker. Most striker guns are not going to be good or safe loaded for uh, people that haven't been trained. If you got any kind of gun, you guys need to look at um, new videos people have put out now with big gun channels about gun safety, follow the four main gun safety rules. You have to learn all that. But so a lot of striker fired guns like a Glock or any heavy SIG, Springfield, whatever, uh, if you don't know what that means, they have shorter trigger um, strokes, lighter trigger strokes that require it to fire. So you have to be especially careful, trigger off the finger, straighten outside the trigger guard, treat every gun as if it was loaded, never point at anything, a gun at anything you don't intend to destroy or kill, be aware of your backstop and what is beyond. You need to know those rules. Anyway, a G2C or a G3 is bigger, 17 plus 19 millimeter. They do have an external safety. I usually don't like those, but for a new sh newer shooter, that might be okay. But especially recommending these because they're budget, and yet almost all of them are reliable, even though people bash on Taurus. And they have longer trigger strokes, heavier, and they're kind of like a double action striker, which is uh, rare. But anyway, it's a longer trigger stroke. Uh, to go off, I think you're less negligently to discharge these than you are other striker-fired guns. But always safety rules, brain, uh, being aware of things are prior one, priority. Uh, number one, your brain is your number one safety. So a G2C, if you think it's going to be something you're also going to want to conceal. G3 can be concealed, of course, too. But that's more like a Glock 17 size. That's a very good option. Okay, so this is just a short video. I'm going to do a longer video on 10 uh, pistols under $400 that I would recommend. For a long gun, a Maverick 88 pump action shotgun. You can get these as low as $180, $190, $200, $220, dollars, depending. Uh, Academy Sports has the 5 plus 1 version. This is the 7 plus 1 version of 12 gauge. It's an inch and a half longer. So you decide you usually don't need more than 5 or 6 rounds of 12 gauge, even if there are multiple home invaders, to get them scattering like cockroaches and taking a couple of them out. But uh, personally, I like the 7 plus 1 Mavic 88. The tang safety is not very good, though. But if you're on a budget, this can certainly work. You could also have it in the home with the safety off, but the chamber unloaded. So the tube would be loaded here if you follow my mouse, but the chamber unloaded. You would have to know that instead of having to activate this safety, you activate this uh, slide catch release here, I'm going to call it that, to allow you to pump hard like you mean it and rack a round into the chamber. Um, so Maverick 88, if you have more money to spend the Mossberg 
500 or 590 or 590 A1 series is going to be better um, because the safety is up here, can be operated by lefties as well, and it's much more of a safe safety, if you will, because you're not putting your bang switch trigger finger near the trigger to deactivate it like you do on the Maverick. So the Maverick, you might want to keep safety off, but chamber unempty, uh, chamber empty. Magazine tube loaded, but chamber definitely, definitely, definitely uh, empty is how you could keep that, perhaps. So, uh, basically a Mossberg or Maverick. Maverick or Maverick, however you want to say it, is made by Mossberg. I believe Mossbergs are made just over in a Texas, and the Mavericks are assembled just over the border in Mexico, so they have cheaper labor. So the Maverick comes in underpriced, but it's mostly the same parts all not all but a lot of the same parts still dual uh, uh, bars that gives you great reliability even if you don't take good care of your firearm compared to other firearms so those are my recommendations of course like i said a 38 revolver a heavier 38 revolver with some hollow points or 38 plus p hollow points a 357 revolver not loaded with 357 but 38 plus p hollow points uh, could do uh, do well too. Nine millimeters probably the best of the time. A 45 ACP also works. Those would be probably my top calibers uh, right there. 38 nine millimeter 45 for times like now. 12 gauge or of course a 5.56223 uh, AR type rifle if you could still manage to find one. Thank you guys. Now look for my 10 recommended pistols under $400. 10 recommended pistols under $400. Hopefully we can all unite and put our country back to where it needs to be. Thank you.